episode of the slide blog I'm talking about playing sixths. This is a bit trickier than playing thirds, which is what I talked about in the last uh, episode. This one uh, requires a special technique where you're using your index finger to mute in between the string, the strings that you're playing. So in the opening little bit there I was playing uh, over a groove that went from G uh, to D7. I was just playing the bass line actually um, because really what these blogs are doing for me is documenting um, an approach to playing slide that comes from playing trio. So I play a lot of gigs where it's just me on guitar, bass player and a drummer and uh, I don't have the luxury of uh, having a huge rhythm section like Derek Trucks or somebody where I can just play like a sax player. So I need to not only solo uh, with the slide, but I also need to accompany my singing or somebody else's singing. And that's really where all this is coming from. So uh, having said that, uh, going back to this, this particular episode, um, I'm trying to define the chord by playing intervals of sixths. And the way I do that is playing two strings at the same time with the slide and I mute the string in between. So, so the first lick that I played in that um, opening part, I'm soloing over a G chord, and I'm playing the fifth and the third at the 12th fret uh, on the um, fourth and second string. All right, so I'm playing the fourth string and second string. Now when I start moving around, if I don't mute the string in the middle, I'm gonna get that kind of sound. So in order to get a, a cleaner sound, I'm muting the string in between, the third string with my index finger, and I'm plucking with my thumb and my middle finger to get that interval of six. And my index finger doesn't leave that string, it just stays on that string the whole time. Right, that's my G my G chord, G7, um, I think maybe I just played, and then the chord progression or the bass line goes to D, and I'm playing D here at the seventh fret, again, same strings, the fourth and the second string, and I'm muting the third string with my index finger, and so my D7 sounds like this. So here was my G, here's my D, right? Uh, then I played, uh, the chord progression actually goes uh, G to D7 and then D7 to G. So it's like two measures of G, two measures of D7, two more measures of D7, two measures of G. So uh, the second half of this lick I'm starting on D, and I'm getting that at the 14th fret, and this, at this point, I've gone up to the first and third strings, and I'm muting the second string in between. Like that. All right, so. That's all D7, and then I finish uh, with the two measures of G by doing this. Which is essentially the same lick here, but on uh, 
uh, strings one and three. All right, so just to recap, what I'm doing is I'm playing uh, two strings, but with a string in between, and I'm muting that string in between with my index finger. All right, uh, come and visit me at uh, Bell Tower Guitars on Instagram or Bell Tower Guitars on Facebook, and uh, or just comment here on the YouTube channel, and I'm happy to uh, answer any questions you might have about slide or guitar. All right, have a great week.